Good morning. So, Ria, do you know that you're going grooming in a while? So, what's up with this? Hey, don't sleep. Hey, you're going grooming. Don't sleep. Yee. See, you see? You see your fur all so long already, you see? Oh, you have to get all of this trimmed. You have to dig your ears. Cut your nails. Okay? Wake up, let's go. You. Come on lah, it's not your first time lah, please. Sayang, Mama, Mama, Sayang. So we've just dropped Ria off. Now going out with my parents. <laughs> We are going to Habitat. Let's go in. Very excited, actually. So we have turned on the app. Go inside. Come on, can you smell the flowers? Wow! Mm. Oh, look at all the fresh flowers! Look where we are now! We are at um, Habitat by Honest Bee. Oh my god, just look at all of the fresh stuff. But the carbohydrate level is actually quite high though. I'll zoom you guys in. Mm. But it's okay lah. I mean it's a better choice as compared to normal other like other normal ice cream. It actually costs 8 90 Which is okay, not too bad. I saw gluten-free noodles and I can finally go and oh look, there's zero gram sugar. I am so gonna get this for myself and I can Finally cook some noodles for myself. Oh, there's udon as well. Not bad. Okay, it's $3.90 each. Oh, the different types of cheese. Oh. oh my god, I finally got and found the shirataki noodles. Uh, and this is actually very, very low in carbs and sugar. So I'm actually going to try probably two of this. I'll probably buy two of them. And it's actually 360 each. So yeah. I'm thinking whether I should get the unsweetened vanilla almond milk or the unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. How cool are these? It's just water and it's 550. <laughs> no, forget about it. So now we have to scan our items. 
Okay, so I have already made our payment. We are going to the checkout area now to pack all of our barang-barang. Okay. So how do we know if it's already securely packed? Who you know what? So these are all the robots that um, are gonna pack our orders. I've just received a message from them. They, they said we've got your order. We'll SMS you when it's back. Grab a cafe coffee or explore a bookstore. There's a bookstore. Where's the bookstore? So this one is really for collection. Um, okay, so I have to scan. Yeah, let's scan. Okay, there it is. Okay, got our orders. Okay, that's a very, very cool experience. How do you like it? I don't like. Why? I don't like. I think it's too digitalized and too high tech for Mama. She says that it's so leche, but it's damn cool, honestly. Would you come here again? I think I would come here. Oh, she said maybe. Okay, she said maybe. There are actually a lot of groceries which are not available in like those normal uh, NQC and you can actually find it here uh, good to have I can find all of my sugar free low carbs barang barang which is great we got our stuff and we're actually going somewhere else where are we going now? so we're going to wholesale Pasir Panjang wholesale centre to buy some stuff I think I think that is better <laughs> that's what my mom and my dad wants to buy avocados Oh my god, just look at how juicy this is. Ah, oh my god. So the groomer actually sent my sister a picture of Rhea after her grooming. <laughs> just look at that face, oh my god. <laughs> look at the mess, Rhea. Who's the stubborn girl? Ni? Yeah, they are stubborn. Uh, one up the girl. Ni. Rangai. I said, hmm, gitu dia cakap. <laughs> Dia bukan kiss macam like macam gitu dia punya ni. Oh, Rotoklah. Hmm. Ha, cousin Otis tu ni. Sayang-sayang mama, nak sayang mama. Ha, cousin Otis ni. Ya, go eh. Tadi mesti support baik. Oh, nak QC everywhere first eh. Eh, pendek eh. Ni beauty short hair siapa ni? Memang who is this? She was so beautiful. So pretty girl. Yeah. So neat. Dia so neat. So neat. Obviously know that I'm already back home and I'm just chilling right now. It's about 2 45 p.m. In a while, I think I'm gonna be preparing my dinner later on. Probably about what time should I cook? I wanna chill a little bit, clean my room a little bit. Uh, probably cook like about five. I thought of actually trying out that shirataki uh, noodles that I bought uh, from Habitat just now. I'm currently looking up for keto recipes on how to prepare the noodles so I'm actually gonna be like preparing two portions of it one portion is for dinner tonight and the other portion I'm gonna bring it to work tomorrow for lunch so that's how I normally prepare my food so for lunch just now I had my mom wants to go to McDonald's so I had no choice but I did not eat any burgers I only had their grilled chicken salad yeah so I just had that so it was not too bad I think oh speaking of chilling right now I'm actually obsessed with this particular series from Netflix called Heart of Dixie I know that it has been a, around for a very long time like 2011 2012 or something like that but recently I have started watching it there are actually four se uh, four seasons to it I'm currently at season 2 episode 8 and all thanks to my sister for you know um, for introducing this series to me and I just I'm just so obsessed I cannot put my phone down and I have been watching it every single day Heart of Dixie is not available in Singapore Netflix for my home um, the Netflix is actually the American version I have no idea how my brother does it no idea at all so I tried to like log in to Netflix Singapore one but 
part of Dick Say is not available so unfortunately you won't be able to watch it unless you have the American version one. I love it so much. It's about uh, this particular surgeon turned GP and she moved in into a very small town called Bluebell and it's in Alabama. It's like a made up town. She's so pretty and then the guys in that series they are all so cute and good looking. So I have been really enjoying a lot. So I'm just gonna relax, chill um, and watch a little bit of Netflix and when I want to cook later on, I thought I should just you know show you guys later when I want to prepare my food. And my my room right now is in a freaking mess. I can't deal with it, so I have to go clean. Oh yeah, guys, I just want to show you guys something. See this T-shirt that I have on. So my sister actually bought for like all of us, as in my siblings and including herself and all. She bought it from Bangkok. Just so you know. So what happened just now was, uh, this is only my second time wearing this t-shirt, and I could actually tell that people were all like looking at my t-shirt, and I don't know, I don't know what it's just my mentality, but it kind of like made me think that they were trying to figure out, like, okay, this girl was born in 1990, and so how old is she? You know. <laughs> Welcome to my room. I know that my room is in a mess right now. I'm gonna clean. I am finally done. Okay lah, not squeaky clean but much better than how it was just now so yay! I am done cleaning the room and I also managed to watch like oh, an episode of Heart of Dixie. Right now the time is, is 4.51 so it is about almost 5 o'clock and I am actually gonna prepare my dinner and tomorrow's lunch so yeah, let's go. So I've laid out all of the ingredients that I need for what I'm gonna cook later on. So this is the shirataki um, noodles which I have bought just now at Habitat. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be using only one or two. So it will actually start out with this and it will turn out to this. Ta-da! So very quickly, I'm just gonna run through the ingredients. I have mushrooms, uh, cherry tomatoes, spinach, two whole eggs, chili padi, minced garlic, spring onion, uh, I already air fried some sausages and ham as well as the noodles that I showed you guys earlier on. So let's cook! Okay, to start off, I have already poured in a little bit of olive oil, not too much. I'm sauteing the garlic, chili padi and a little bit of that spring onion. Okay, and then one tablespoon of curry powder. I don't know how this is going to turn out but yep, I'm just going to do it man. And then like a very light dash of soy sauce. Oops, I hope that's not too much. <laughs> okay, and then I like, make like a small well and put in the eggs. Whisk it first, of course. Just gonna like let it set a little bit and then like slowly just push it in like that. Okay, once you realize that the eggs has set a little bit, then you can just roughly separate them like that. Okay, make sure you don't overdo it because if not, the eggs will just be too mushy, which is not what I want. Okay, next I am putting in the mushrooms. Then I'm putting in the rest of the veggie like the spinach and the tomatoes as well. Okay, once the spinach has wilted, I'm going to put in the ham and the sausage. Yeah, and you know what, I think at this point, I should put in the noodles as well. So I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so now I'm going to just use a thong and combine all of them together. Okay, let's see. I may need to put a little bit of um, soy sauce again. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to add in um, some of the Himalayan pink salt, um, black pepper, and some sesame seed as well. Okay, so just add in some of the spring onion. You can turn off the heat already. And we are done! Oh, so it turns out that I can actually divide all of that into three different portions. So I'm gonna have this for dinner, bring this for tomorrow's lunch and probably have the same for dinner as well. So here is my dinner and let's see how it tastes like. Mm. 
not bad. The noodles is very springy and chewy. It's like almost konyaku like. It's like jelly. Mm. I really like this. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I actually made some fat bombs that day. I made four but now I'm only left with two. So these are actually made of uh, lean dark chocolate like 70% cocoa and topped with some coconut oil and oh my god these are so so good I'm gonna have one right now. Oh gosh. So good. Because I can't have chocolates or snacks. So this is a keto friendly one. I made it myself. If you guys want to know how I made it, please let me know. Then I'll probably you guys. So good. Yes. Usually if she sits or stands here, it means that she wants to eat. Haha, <laughs> don't have. Come. Mm, this is the cat who needs to be fed all the time if she's not fed she will not eat this is Diane Ria uh, it's been a pretty long day guys pretty long day oh my god what time is it it is almost 6 30 I think I should start fasting now because I have this thing where I will start fasting at about 6 p.m and I will only start eating again the next day at about 9 a.m. It's like an overnight fast sort of about 15 hours. I will tell myself I can't eat anything. All I can do is just drink plain water and that's it. That's what I'm gonna be doing. It is almost Maghrib right now. I am going to take a shower. A very nice cold shower. Get ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be a very long day for me. At work. Okay, let's just talk for a while before I end this off. Okay, thing is, I won't be able to upload any beauty related videos for now because I really, I, I just can't find the time to like, you know, set up all of my camera, lighting, so on and so forth. And also plus, I do not have any new beauty items right now because I have been refraining myself from buying makeup for the past five to six months I have not bought any new makeup well maybe I do here and there just like you know all the very simple uh, cheap cheap ones uh, but you know to do a haul is definitely something else it's definitely a no-no because I just cannot spend at this point of time I'm only left with four and a half months till my wedding and there are, I'm, I'm just really busy with all my wedding preps um, a lot of things to be done, a lot of money to be used. I hope with all of these, like, you know, uh, a day in Diane's life vlogs, will be able to, you know, sort of compensate all of my beauty related videos for now. So if you guys have enjoyed watching all of these vlogs, right, please let me know so that I can just, you know, continue doing more vlogs uh, in the next couple of months. There's not gonna be any beauty related videos until I am fully done with my wedding. Maybe you want to see like more recipes for keto in case if you guys are even interested in that or you would want me to just continue doing these vlogs because if there is no one replying or commenting if they want to see more vlogs, I will not do it at all, you know? Yeah, so let me know. So thank you so much for following me around today. I really hope you have enjoyed watching this vlog. Um, let me know if you want to see more of this kind. I'll be glad to do more of this kind of vlogs because it's easy you know just bring you guys around provided if my day is not boring as usual i would appreciate it if you guys can give this video a thumbs up um, if you are new to my channel hello hope you have enjoyed watching subscribe don't forget and till then i'll catch you guys in my next one bye